Hi, I'm Ron with A1 Moving, and this video is going to be about how to properly pack a dish barrel. A dish barrel is primarily used for china, so if you don't have china, please skip over this video because it's going to be fairly involved. It goes together just like all the others. I do give a little bit more tape on the dish barrel simply because everything that goes in it is expensive. As you can see, this is a double walled box, so it's a much thicker, heavier box than your normal, everyday, small, medium, large box. Uh, you can put other stuff in there, but it's so expensive, it's really probably best just to hold it uh, full of china. There are three different inserts to be used with this box, which is why it's a fairly complicated box. A large slot, a small slot, and a square or a flat. And I'll show you how to do each one. Now, this would be an incredibly hard box to show you how to pack, and that's why we have created a clear dish barrel. So I have a set of china over here. It's actually not nearly what you could fit in a normal dish pack. I could probably fit a, a serving of 12 easily into a dish pack, but this will be representation and certainly show you how to go about packing one. So you start with your dish pack and unlike all your normal other boxes, you actually do not put paper at the bottom first. You wanna start off with your larger slotted cells. As you can see, there's different slots, so you can configure these lots of different ways. But I'm going to show you the most common way and 90% of the way I do it. Start off with the large slots, and you use the outside. Sometimes it can be a little tricky, but you wind up with this, and that goes down to your dish barrel. So I would like to start with my largest um, china first, and as you can see, it will fit below the square, which is very important. You can't have anything above this divider. So I'm going to get ready to fill this, and I'm going to start off with like half of a sheet of paper or a sheet of paper for the very bottom. In order to get the plate to fit nicely, you can just bend this bit of cardboard, this little fin here, and you put some paper at the bottom of the section that you're going to fill. And what that creates is a dish wide space for three or four dishes. China, a lot of times, instead of one piece of paper like I'd normally use for your everyday dishes, I'd probably use two. You start wrapping it one way, putting most of the paper on one side of the china, flip it over, and now you have a pretty, pretty padded up piece of china. Again, what I like doing is setting it aside and creating uh, three or four together. So now I've got my four large plates of china and I just kind of squish them down a little bit. And they go down in the little area we created. Now as you can see, if you just move one way, either clockwise or counterclockwise around the outside, I would bend this piece of cardboard next and I would have another little space. Put your cushion down there and then start with more large plates. Now I only have two because uh, again, I'm not gonna do the whole dish barrel per se, but as you can see, 
you could do four, 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 and four. So you could literally get rid of a serving of 12 china at the very bottom of a dish barrel. And we've got a ways to go yet. Now, if you do the exterior, or if you only have a serving of say six or less, you could put medium sized plates down in here as well. Once you're done with the exterior, it leaves you with a, a nice large center section. And what I like doing is getting rid of a really delicate piece. If you have a, a, a Hummel or any sort of little statue, this is an excellent place to get rid of it. You want to put a little piece of paper down. Gravy boats, sugar bowls, anything a little odd like this, a uh, perfect area for that. Again with China, this paper per page is very cheap, so just use two sheets. Don't forget the lid. This little guy as well. Now that we've filled these two out exterior compartments and this interior compartment, for the sake of this demonstration, we're gonna move on to the next level. You'd want to grab the square and put it down flat right on top. As you can see, this is very strong because it's not resting on your china, but the first set of inserts. So we start all over again, but this time we're going to use the smaller inserts. Again, there's lots of different ways of doing this. Uh, I'm gonna show you really one of the most common or universal ways of doing it. And that is to put this next level together with four pieces of the small, simply the same configuration you did the large. And that is on the two outmost slots. Once again, we have a very familiar looking configuration that we're gonna put in the box. Now, feel free to bend some of these fins if, if you have anything long, like a serving tray or something that fits in there. But for the most part, your next size dishes or bowls will very easily fit in this center section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap some and fill up this section right now. It's usually about four that fit in these compartments without too much hassle. You're left with these little side compartments here, the corner compartments that you want to fill in. Uh, a mug is an excellent place to fill it in, or a little teacup. Again, you could probably get two per go. As long as you remain underneath of this cardboard, you're fine. So that, that's gonna be good. Uh, you don't want anything sticking up. And again, I'd continue with this uh, compartment. And you just continue around until you filled all your compartments. All right, so that leaves, again, the center space to fill that you can fill with anything super fragile. But if you run out of those things or you don't have any more, you can certainly 
put more plates uh, in the middle and you can stack them just like you'd normally do on edge and it would fit probably like 12 of those or right in the middle. The next thing you want to do after you've completed your second level and all the compartments are filled is you want to put another flat in. Make sure that it's resting completely on the cardboard. The next level will consist of another small set. So it's large, small, small. For this top load, if, if I'm just doing the first dish barrel or something, I usually actually create a glass one, which actually will consist of six of the smalls. So you do the two outsides and the middle one. A little bit trickier to do, but you wind up with something that looks like this. So you take um, your glass one and you put it right down the top. So you're pretty close to the top, but that's exactly where we want to be. This will fit all your medium to small uh, glasses. As you can see, like these will fit in zero problem. Now, if you have the larger versions uh, or very large wine glasses, you can't put them in if they go over the top. You can create the same configuration with the larges. You just do them on the bottom and then you could get rid of all these much taller glasses. They would easily fit in, in, in a large. But for this, I'm gonna show you that these uh, normal size wine glasses easily fit down in there. You can bend these a little bit to fit because once again, a little bending was fine. And then you can see that even though this bend pushes into this box, there's still plenty of room for normal wine glass. Now, although they'll make a little bit of noise, you actually don't need paper in these per se. You could, you could put them in there. Now, I do like to put, go ahead and paper the ones on the corner. And the reason I like to go ahead and paper the corners is because if it bends in a little bit, it'll be a little bit uh, protected. So after that, you would fold up the dish barrel. Since there's uh, no flaps or top to put on this box, I'm going to uh, demonstrate with a flat. So once you close it up, you're left with a, a box that uh, completely protects your china. And it does so with these cells. Any weight that gets put on is passed down these cardboard inserts instead of your china or your dishes. And that is why if you're going to choose to protect your china, this is the ultimate box to do it in.